Yo, if we have learned anything from these tech tips, it's that we're always learning, right? No matter what you're doing throughout the day, you're learning stuff. Whether you want to or not, most of the time you don't even realize it till later. And yeah, this week, no different. We learned something that we probably already knew, but uh, we confirmed the learn. And uh, I'm going to share that with you on this week's Tuesday Morning Tech Tip from Puglisi Speed Shop. Always learning something, guys. And uh, that's become terribly apparent with this truck, right? So if you're following along, me and Jay, both Chevy guys, tend to learn something every single week when we mess with this truck, which is great, right? Because even though we've been working on vehicles for a long time, you know, don't get boring, right? We always learn something. However, this week's lesson has nothing to do with this truck or anything else in this shop for that matter, because as we've learned, whether you're in the shop or out of the shop, you're always learning something. So I'm going to take you outside and uh, show you how we learned something this week. Let me walk you past the little setup we got over here where I show you how little I know about metalwork and take you outside. There she is. If you guys have been watching the show for a while, you know that, uh, well, it's like four o'clock. Why is he crowing? I don't know. I don't understand animals. Anyways, I had this truck in the shop about a year and a half ago and, um, we pushed it out here, and it said, well, that thing does not sound healthy. We pushed it out here um, right before we left the Sturgis. Like I said, it's August of 22, I believe. And this guy is upset. Anyways, if it didn't just barely nip that tree, it would have ended up way further down in the woods. But this is... My 1965 C10, it's uh, got a 67 to 72 bed on it, and uh, he's got a sore throat. Some cool patina and some significant rust, which one always leads to the other, guys, if you're not careful. And um, since it's been sitting here for uh, a year and some change, and I haven't put a hand on it, Figured out I probably don't need it, right? So, with that being said, it's for sale right now. Um, so yeah, comment below if you're interested. But all that being said, guys, you wouldn't believe what I've been getting offered and just some of the craziness that comes with selling a vehicle nowadays. And that's what I want to share with you. All right, guys. So if any of you guys have ever sold anything, uh, especially like online, it, the, 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 the further on this goes, the crazier it gets. Like back in the day, like the auto trader, right? You put like, it'd be one picture and you'd be thumbing through, oh, I got to call this guy, right? And, you know, you actually put a lot of work into this, right? You had to go out by the auto trader. You had to call. You know, you, you, you're putting some time in, right? Which is, uh, which is more than I can say for the guys nowadays, right? Because um, now, then, then what, Craigslist became a thing and, uh, you still had to call somebody, right? There was a number, you had to write it down or whatever, um, and, or, or cut and paste it or something, and call or text this person, right? Um, so it's, well, we make things easier, right? Facebook Marketplace, if I bet 90% of people watching this video are just constantly on there, because I know I am, and you're always looking for a deal, right? Well, the problem with it is you're just one click away from, is this available? By the way, stop doing that. Stop asking if it's available. You sound like an idiot, all right? But uh, I've done it on accident, <laughs> scrolling through, and I click something, I got an email back or whatever, message back from the guy. Yeah, it's still available. And I'm like, what? Oh, dude, my bad. I accidentally clicked that button. So they make it too easy to click. That's part of the problem, you know? So I list the truck, and this has happened before. You get 100, is this still available? And, um, you know, a lot of people you see in the ads will not respond to this. They will be ignored. That's a solid plan because I tend to reply to most of them. And so every now and then it's actually a real person. I bet 75% of the time you never hear back again. It's just a guy clicked it because he wants to 
a reminder, a notification, whatever it might be. I don't know. But um, then, you know, you get some decent offers, right? Like, so I have, I got three guys. I think it's three. I wrote them down. Writing things down worked out well for me last time. So I'm doing it again. Plus, I got a compliment from Kevin on that video. So, you know, we're going to, 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 we're learning guys. We're learning together. Um, I got a 2003 Triumph Trophy 1200, right? Not bad looking. Apparently, it's currently registered, insured, turnkey bike. Not my gig, but it seems like a quality quality bike. I mean, I'm selling something that clearly doesn't run, and we'll get to that in a minute. But, uh, so yeah, the bike looks legit. Seems legit. The guy hit me up, and I was like, you know what? Let me think about it. I said, because I'm, now I'm thinking to myself, what's easier to sell? And this is how my, my brain works. Anybody that's been doing this kind of stuff, you get it, right? Um, is it easier to sell a running, riding, registered motorcycle or a truck that's kind of sitting in the woods, right? Two completely different audiences, but you got to know them both. So I had that offer. Um, I had an 89 Softail, uh, Harley Davidson Softail, right? Sends me a video of it running. The guy's ready to go. Hey, I got a trailer. Let me know. Not a bad looking bike. Again, I don't get this confused because I'm a Harley guy. Obviously, I got I got you know three of them there. Not my style, Harley. Um, I know it might look dangerously close to my shovel head from a distance, but it's not the same. Um, and that's I get it. That's Harley douche stuff. Got it. Okay, put the label on me if you want. It's just not my not my jam, right? So, but it's a possibility because again, it's. It's legitimate. It's registered in his name. All that you know, list, all that kind of stuff. So it's legit. Um, then an '89 Suburban, which struck my interest a little bit. Um, and I know it's weird. Why? Well, because I'm a Chevy guy, right? That's number one. But uh, when it comes to trucks, GM, right? You get it. So it looks legit. Again, running, driving. And a personable guy, right? He sends me a million pictures, videos of it running, driving, all this kind of stuff. I'm like, this guy's legit, right? He put it together, and uh, it's just what he does. He likes buying stuff, putting it together, and selling it. Cool. I get that, right? So, uh, all right, you know, those are legitimate offers, guys. Like, hey, they're about the same value. Um, you know, obviously, these guys are looking to trade for this, are looking for a project, and just kind of over what they got. The bikes, I get it. It's winter time. Whatever it might be, that's where we're at. Um, then you got the guys. Hey, uh, one guy said he's got a heavy equipment trailer he wants to trade for me. So I, I did say he had possible trades. And I mentioned specifically square body Chevy, OBS Chevy, um, car trailer, you know, whatever. But And I get it, guys. I've done it too. You see something you want, you throw an offer. See with sticks, right? Got it. How about a heavy equipment trailer? I said, well, might be a little bit much for my Tundra to, to, to haul. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, man, my Tahoe does it, no problem. All right, cool, man, send me some pictures. I'm out of town. I'll get them to you tomorrow. Who got? That was, that was four days ago, five days, whatever. So we, he goes to me. That's fine. Whatever. It is what it is. So then I had a guy who, again, I, the guy was legit. Um... And I say that because local guy and like mutual friends and stuff like that. And there's nothing wrong with what this dude did. Don't, don't take that the wrong way. It's just kind of funny. <laughs> so he hits me up. Hey, man, would you be interested in a boat? Well, for any of you guys that have been around for a while, I had a boat uh, years ago, 10, 15 years ago. It was, it was dope, right? Had a big block in it, you know, jet boat out in California. Cool, right? Um, found out I'm not a boat guy. Um, and after I destroyed the motor on that thing <laughs> and then could, had it rebuilt and couldn't get the timing right because Ford things and boat things, um, I traded it for the shovel head back there. Now, mind you, that thing's been sitting on a lift for about two years now. Still got more use out of it than a boat, <laughs> right? And took up a hell of a lot less space. It's just not my thing, right? But I'm an opportunist sometimes, guys, right? Shoot me a picture. So he does, right? Little cutty cabin. 
the name's kind of cool, right? Um, but and I was like, ah, you know what, dude? I said I appreciate it. It's cool. It's cool. It's you know, I, I, again probably worth about the same when I'm asking for the truck. But uh, nah, I got I got a pass. Good luck with it. Whatever. So my man ain't trying to give up, right? <laughs> He's like, yo, how about I sweeten the deal, right? Next thing you know, I got pictures just flying, dude. Right, and like they always do, like, what do you think, right? <laughs> so it's like a generator, um, a snow blower, a fish finder, I guess like a GPS, some other things I couldn't identify, a Ford steak truck that's just like stuck in the woods. I thought mine was in the woods. Forget about it. Stuck in the woods, dude, right? So I was like, guy, <laughs> like, cool. Um, and he's right here, like in Mechanicsville, right? He's like probably a couple miles from me or something. So I showed my buddy Nick this, and he's like, oh, yeah, hey, clean out my yard and let me get your truck. <laughs> so, yeah, that's kind of what we're getting at, right? So uh, I passed on those, right? Uh, I did keep telling Megan I was going to get the boat, and she was ready to kill me. But uh, so that's all well and good, right? Guys, give, give it a shot. Hey, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, right? So I get it. No, I'm not mad at that at all. Uh, then you got the other guy, the guy that thinks he's got you by the balls, right? Guy just messaged me, bottom dollar. And you can hear the douchiness in his text, right? And I'm like, bro. <laughs> I said, well, it's been listed for like four hours. I don't really have a bottom dollar. Shoot me an offer. Never hear back from that guy, right? Because he just wants to know what he can get out of you. So forget that guy. Then I got another guy, 2500 Cash. Well, no kidding, cash. He was in Am I financing this thing over here? <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. So I text him back or message him, whatever it was. All right, man. Sure, come get it. And he's like, what? Okay. Because I knew he was bullshit, right? So I'm like, all right, come on. So, and guys, I think I got to enlist it for 3300 bucks. So $800 less to get it out of the yard. Whatever, dude. Come get it. So he's like, all right, man, well, uh, I'll be there, you know, I could be there whenever. Blah, blah. I said, cool, man, where are you coming from? Jersey. Okay. And I've gone to Jersey. I bought the Le Mans in Jersey. Like, no big deal. Right down the block. I don't care about jumping on the truck and going, guys. You guys figured that out. I said, okay, cool. I'm in Southern Maryland. Ghosted. <laughs> guys, look at, like, the location. It's on there. It's free. Just Google. And that's another thing. People are like, how far are you from Baltimore? Dude. Grab your phone, right? We got all got the same Google, okay? I, I deal with this all the time. Just type in there, Baltimore, Maryland to Mechanicsville, Maryland. It'll tell you, like, from the center of that city to the center of that city, you know? You don't got to bother people with questions you can answer yourself. You got a computer in your pocket 24-7, so knock it off with that crap. <laughs> Actually, I'll touch more on... Yeah. One guy says, is it roadworthy? Bro, did you see the ad, right? And I says, no. And he's like, oh, well, I'd be interested, but it had to be less money. I already have it listed lower than every vehicle, like every truck, the comparable to it. Like, by, I think, I think four or five hundred dollars less than the lowest one I saw. And you go, come on, guy, really? Now, I get it if you're living in the past, right? 10, 15 years ago, you could have got that truck running and driving for $2,500. You can't do it now. It's just, uh, I try. That's why my, my 65, the gray one's in the corner still, because you can't do it anymore. So that's what you do. Uh, what's the next? Oh, give me your cell number. They just text me, give me your cell number. Now, this is a good thing about the Facebook Marketplace is you can keep some of your personal, you know, to, to yourself. Keep it personal, right? Because, um, you know, Craigslist, you had to get your number, and it's like, eh, you know, people are finicky about that stuff. So you can just message back and forth, guys. I bought tons and tons of things off of Facebook without ever having somebody's phone number. Cause I don't need it, right? Why do I need that? One one chick's like, oh, hey, I'll, um, it's clearly a made-up, you know, it's a fictitious account or whatever. Hey, give me your cell number. I'll have my husband call you. Why? What are we doing, right? Or I'm at work. Give me your number and we can call. I'll call you later. Or what? Beware of the scams, guys. And that kind of leads me into that, the scams. Because my own, they are out there, right? Um, every time they're like, if, you, if they want you to leave Facebook at all, right? Like, oh, hey, give me your number. Now, there's sometimes, like, and like so actually the guy with the boat said, hey, I'll text, you know, saying these things, and that's fine. 
because I I, I, I kind of knew. We had some mutual friends, right? So I was like, okay, I'm good. But um, usually like, hey, like give me your number. And then they want to go, then hey, Venmo me. That's a good one. Like, oh, that's, I got one. It said, what condition is the vehicle in? Or what condition is this item in? They keep it really vague. And then when you say like, oh, it's used. Or, oh, it's good. Or whatever it is. Okay, cool. I want to buy it. Send me your Venmo. And guys, I don't know the ins and outs of scams. I'm not a technical guy, but um, I do know that that's how they start to scam you, right? So if it looks too good to be true, it usually is, right? Learn that lesson in high school playing football. Like, I know, I'm not a sports guy, but you know, the, co the coach said that if it looks too good, it's probably, if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. Because like, yeah, if you come across a line, like, you get kicked out of the way, right? You get your ass kicked. Ain't no different here, guys. Get your ass kicked a different way to start taking money. So be careful of that. Don't get too anxious, that kind of thing. Um, and that leads me to, like I said before, about the uh, the guys with, that drive me crazy with some of these things. Ran when parked. Guys, really, stop that. <laughs> this is just Facebook or Craigslist or whatever things that drive me nuts. Um, I'm testing the water. Stop. Stop. Stop asking if things are available. Stop testing the waters. You want to test the waters. Look at a damn, look, just look through, you know, search for your vehicle. See what they're going for. It's just, you know, whatever, man. And it's usually a piece of crap too, right? Covering the plate, guys. Oh my God, it drives me crazy. I understand. I do understand why they do it. So if you have some one of a kind or, or very high dollar vehicle at your home, right? Um, and you're trying to sell that. So you cover the plate because you don't want somebody to come steal it out of your garage or something, right? Got it. 100% got it. I don't believe in that. I don't think it's, I mean, do you cover your plate when you drive the car? Because <laughs> guess what? They can like, it, nowadays, got your tag and you can, it's free information, guys. You can go and get anybody's address off of their tags, which whatever right that's that's just flaws in the system but uh you're selling your i don't know 1987 shit box nobody cares what your plate number is and you put your thumb over it and then what happens your phone it focuses on your thumb right um so then the cars are all the pictures are blurry you block out half of the bumpers probably where there's a dent at anyway so you don't care it drives me nuts. If, if that's me, guys, if I see a vehicle and it's, it's a, and, oh man, this is nice, I see that, I'm done. I don't even look at it. Because I don't want to deal with the guy. And that's that's a big part. I don't want to get aggravated buying something, right? Just like you shouldn't have to get aggravated selling something. So these are things I've been dealing with. I want to share some with you, maybe give you a little bit of information of how not to get scammed out there because, guys, it's happening. They're always coming up with new ways, you know. Um, while I'm on the, <laughs> while I'm on the, the subject, um, I get more friend requests from like Russian models, right? And I don't, I don't think any like Russian models really want to hang out with a 46 year old dude. So um, when you start getting them, don't accept them. Don't accept them. Stop. Just stop. Look, help me, help me help you. All right. They don't care about you. It's, they use that stuff to scam your stuff. And then next thing you know, your accounts get hacked. You're like, oh my God, oh my God. Yeah, that's why. Because you're trying to be friends with freaking Russian models. Knock it off. <laughs> Rant over. Sorry. But hopefully you guys learned something. Um, you know, be careful out there. The internet's a crazy place. It can be scary. It can be good. But be careful where you're going. <laughs> you know, you know who I'm talking to. All right. Uh, hey, and a little fun here. I got a couple of offers on there. And I mentioned it. Comment down below which one you think I'm going to take. Thanks for watching, guys.